What's going on everybody? I'm D Thomas from NC, back with another video and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on the Super NT. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, basically it's like a reimagined version of the Super Nintendo. It's made by a company called Analog. I picked it up on their website for $189.99. The link for that will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead, unbox this and see what we got. All right, guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and open this box up and see what we got. Got the handy dandy knife right here. Let's go ahead and cut along the sides right here like so I don't want to cut myself oh come across like you know what there we go make sure I keep this in shot all right put the knife off to the side okay that's coming from analog throw that to the side let's get all of this out of the way and let's see pull this out of the box and what is this throw the box to the side okay so what is this this is super terracon director's cut <laughs> super terracon director's cut i never even heard of this game what else is in here Okay, so this is just a picture of the system and it's telling me about Super Terracon. Uh, we're thrilled to preserve a piece of video game history uh, with the inclusion of the unreleased Super Terracon Director's Cut on the Super NT. As a bonus, we've also included the original Super Terracon 2. That is pretty dope. One of the greatest run and gun games of all time, never released in its original development form. In 1993, Factor 5 finished developing the complete Super Terracon for SNES, a six megabyte title. Unfortunately, the game had to be cut down by 33%. 24 years later, Super Terracon director, Director's Cut is finally here. Okay, that's cool. That is pretty dope that they've included that in the game. This right here is one of the like, original boxes per se that's pretty dope all right on to the console on to the console Let's go ahead and open this up okay that's upside down okay super nt let's open this right on up there it is guys this is some nice this is some nice stuff in here like it doesn't feel cheap at all this material that they put inside of it but guys here it is the super nt i got mines in black on the back as you can see that's where the hdmi core would go and i would guess this right here is where the power power cable would go and this stores you can put your original snes cartridges inside of this okay let's see what else we got inside this real quick oh this must just be and this all of this stuff feels really really premium so this is not cheap stuff that you're getting here okay so there's the power cable the plug uh, there's the uh, HDMI cord and this must be the piece for yep for the power cord okay so I got my original SNES here just so you guys can see the comparison. This is my, you see this thing is starting to turn colors on the bottom. I've had this from probably since what, 91, 92. This is my original Super Nintendo that my brother and I played. And it still works, believe it or not. It still works. So here's the SNES. Let me get this out of the way. Move. Here's the SNES. Here's the, SNT, uh, the Super NT. Very small. In comparison guys very very small but it can fit these cartridges I got some games right here some of my original Super Nintendo games I got quite a lot and as you can see let's see you can throw Mario up in there Legend of Zelda you pop it in just like that and we can play it so 
I am going to uh, connect this and see what it looks like because guys, they say this is the, the definitive way that you are supposed to play this Super NT. This is the great way that they want you to experience the entire Super Nintendo catalog. They say that this thing is compatible with over 2200 SNES and Super Famicom cartridge games. And like I said before, this is how they want you to explore and relive one of the greatest video game systems of all time with no compromises. And I guess what they mean by no compromises, guys, I'm talking this thing will play at 1080p with zero lag. You can also play this wirelessly with 8-bit those wireless controllers. I don't have any of those wireless controllers here with me, but what I do have, guys, I have my original SNES controllers that I got with this console back when I was a young lad. <laughs> I remember when my aunt bought this for me and my brother, we were so happy. So yeah, you can plug this up. All right, guys, my battery had died. I had to change it out. But like I was saying, this controller right here is compatible with this right here. All you have to do, take this right here and plug it right on in. I think that's pretty amazing. This newly designed console works with this 20 plus year old controller. Some of you guys watching this, this controller might be older than you. But yeah, I think this is pretty amazing. I'm very excited and I wanna go ahead and check it out. Oh, and real quick, just to let you guys know, this thing comes in four colors. It comes in the Super Famicom theme, it comes in the SNES theme, clear and black. Uh, I was only able to get black because all of the rest were sold out, but I'm cool with that because my the rest of my consoles are also black. My PS2, GameCube, PS3, PS4, they all are black. So this right here will fit right along with everything that I got. So yeah, let's go ahead and connect this and see how this thing holds up. Oh yeah, guys, real quick, one thing that I forgot to mention is that on the side of this, they have a slot for SD card. So if you wanna do a firmware upgrade, and I think now there is a software out to where you can jailbreak this and play SNES ROMs right from the SD card. So yeah, that's one thing that I forgot to mention that I thought was pretty important. All right, guys, the console is now booting up, and you're greeted with that cool animation like it's getting hacked or something. And you have a few options right here. Run cartridge, play Super Terracon Director's Cut or Super Terracon 2, and you have settings. Let's navigate down to settings, and let's go to video and resolution. So once you're here in resolution, you have 1080p by 60, 576 by 50, whatever you want to run the game at, you have that option. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go to screen size, same thing. You can 16 by 9, 16 by 10, whatever your heart's content, you can do that. Uh, scalers, let's see, two times, three times, scale two times, x-ray, whatever you wanna do, you can select that. You have options, scan lines, normal, hybrid, gamma boost. I like that they offer all of the different options up in here because you know you couldn't do anything like this with the regular Super Nintendo. Okay, so we're in audio, let's see cartridge audio volume you can turn that up or down that is pretty nice go to system let's see hot keys control system region and you can do a whole lot in here okay let's see what else okay i don't want i don't know i don't know what that is let me back up out of that all right guys so i have uh street fighter 2 inside of this let's go ahead and back all the way out go to the beginning and let's see save settings no i don't want to restore factory default let's go to run cartridge and check out this street fighter 2. licensed by nintendo let me see if i can still put the code in for this oh, <laughs> the code still works let's go street fighter 2 the world warrior so it's running just fine y'all know i'm gonna rock out with ryu I don't even know why I was trying to select somebody else. And I'm going to USA to fight Ken. Man, this joint right here is such a classic. Back up. Put that Hadouken out. Oh, we both dizzy. Get up out of that, boy. Come on. <laughs> Get up out of that. Come on, you gonna take this L, son. Let's go. Oh, I got him. Let's go. Get him out of here. 
So we know that this Street Fighter works. Let's go ahead and pop in another Capcom classic. Run cartridge. I know you guys gonna know what this is when it pop up. Metro City. That's all you need to see is Metro City. I know you already know what that is. <laughs> Final fight. Start. Okay, let's see. Do I wanna run with Mike Hagar? Nah, let's go with Cody. They don't even make these kind of games anymore. But guys, so far, so good. No issues. Come here, boy. Oh, y'all trying to jump your boy? Fall back. I picked up a yen just now. <laughs> what purpose does that serve? Get out of here, son. So yeah, this final fight is working just fine. Kill this last dude and uh pop in another game. Alright. And you see, this right here is pretty cool. Every time you like reset it and power it on, the the boot menu, that little animation is different. So I definitely like that. I wonder how many different animations they have like that. But y'all already know what game this is. <laughs> this is another classic. I can't even remember the last time I've played this. Link to the past. Oh, where's my save file? What the heck? Okay, let me go on my wife joint heads. Start from the house, yeah. <laughs> my save file is gone. So I'm at to start over from scratch, but hey, this is just to show you guys that it's working just fine on this Super NT. So let me jump down here and beat this dude up real quick. Slice him up. And we're going to keep it moving to the next game. Oh, he about to kill me. All right, run cartridge. Got another classic inside here made by yours truly, Konami. <laughs> a lot of y'all might not know what game this is, but this joint is a classic in my eyes. What y'all know about Sunset Riders, man? Y'all don't know about that. All right, who we want to rock with? Steve, Billy, Bob. Billy Bob. Or Cromano. Let's go with Cormano, man. Let's rock out with him. Simon Greedwell, 10,000. 10 stacks dead or alive. You know, we're gonna kill that boy and get that money. <laughs> All right, let's go. But guys, look how slow that bullet, oh, got shot in the face. <laughs> that bullet was traveling so slow. If bullets travel like that in real life, a lot of people would be dodging them joints. Look how slow it's going. Had to go in there and tighten up Shorty real quick. <laughs> Had to give her that work real fast. All right, guys. This is going to be the last game that I want to test out. Super Chase HQ. I don't know if you guys remember this game, but it was pretty dope for its time. And it's still one of my favorites on the Super Nintendo. So let's see what we got. Sunday morning, suspected gang member of a smuggling gang was found dead at the beach on a Sunday morning? Wow. We have reason to believe that the game was tipped off. Roger. Let's go ahead and get it. So this game was pretty fun. Basically, you just had to chase down the criminal, ram into the back of his car, and that's how you would defeat the enemy or whatnot. But yeah, guys, if you're looking for a modern day Super Nintendo to replace your old SNES console, you got some SNES cartridges laying around and you want to play them, I definitely recommend this Super NT. Might be a little pricey to some, but I definitely recommend it because I'm reliving my childhood right now. <laughs> you can't beat that, man. For real. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this unboxing, show your love, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.